creative real estate investing strategies. When beginning real estate investors do not have a lot of money to use in order to purchase real estate properties, there are a number of creative real estate investing strategies that they can use. One option is subject to financing agreements, where the purchaser agrees to assume the current mortgage payments in exchange for the deed. The mortgage stays in the seller's name. If the seller is a bit leery of accepting this kind of arrangement, another financing strategy common in real estate investing for beginners without a lot of cash is to use wraparound mortgages. Creative Real Estate Investing Strategies What is a wraparound mortgage? These mortgages are a type of owner financing. What happens is that a subject or agreement is made, but in addition the seller arranges a second mortgage that wraps around the current one and is payable to them. Usually this mortgage is offered at a higher rate than the original mortgage and is made for the entire amount of the sale minus the down payment that the buyer makes to the seller. This offers the seller a little more in the way of security when arranging this type of sale, so it can help to convince sellers who aren't too sure about agreeing to this type of arrangement. There are a number of benefits to this type of agreement. A buyer who can't get financing from traditional sources will be willing to pay this additional interest in order to be able to take over ownership of the home. The seller gets the security of knowing that payments are made on time, since they continue paying the original lender using the payments made on the wrap by the buyer, and they get an additional amount of income each month due to the higher interest rate. However, sellers need to be aware that if the buyer suddenly stops making payments, they will still have to keep making payments on the original mortgage, as well as having to deal with arranging to foreclose on the buyers and reselling the property, which can get expensive especially if a lot of repairs are needed on the property. Keeping a few months' worth of mortgage payments in a savings account can help provide you with a buffer should this happen. Another factor to consider is whether the original mortgage has a due-on-sale clause, which states that the lender may choose to call on the amount of the mortgage when the property is sold. However, in most cases the lender will not actually do this as long as they are getting the proper payments and receiving them on time, regardless of who is actually paying them. You don't want to call attention to the transfer of the deed any more than necessary though. A wraparound mortgage can be beneficial to both the seller and the buyer, however, as it makes it easier to quickly sell a house that might not otherwise be saleable while allowing a buyer that doesn't have a lot of resources to purchase a house. Just make sure all the details are clearly stated in the contract and gone over by a lawyer.